Hey, what's up everybody? I'm going to do another quick how-to. This is part two of collision channels. This time we're going to cover custom collision channels. Last time I talked about what a collision channel was, uh, how that uh, corresponded to responses and so on and so forth. This time we're going to talk about custom collision channels, which can be very useful to have on hand. So uh, I've got this nice little setup. These are two different blueprints. We've got red uh, here and blue. They do the exact same thing. They don't consume input, which means I can move them both at the same time um, around. But you can see that they collide with the boxes around them. And what we want to do here is let's say we have our puzzle game where we've got these different colored zones. Green, anybody can pass through uh, in our game idea. Blue, only blue can pass through and red, only red can pass through. So we're going to set that up so that that works. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go straight into the project settings and down to this collision option here, which co covers all of the collision stuff for the whole project. Um, we're going to add a new project channel and we're going to call it red. Okay, we're done with that. We're going to add another one. We're going to call it blue. And we're going to leave the default response for both of these to block. So that means for all of the responses, this channel is going to, to block by default. Um, so we've got those now. And so what we need to do then is go into our blueprint select our static mesh component, and then set its collision custom to red to tile. And then we need to go into, oops, and in here, we need to go to blue to tile. And then in here, we need to, okay, that's fine. And then in red, we need to go into here and set our collision to red. We're going to compile, save, always save your work. And then what we're going to do is we can click on any object in the scene and scroll down and we can set the response to each of these new channels. So for this, this is green. We want it to overlap both. So I'm going to set it to that. And you can see immediately we'll be able to pass through. Now it's still blocking on these objects, so we need to fix that. So let's go to the blue objects here. These two, I'll select them both at the same time. We're going to go down to our uh, response. Now these are just world static objects, but we're going to go down to our response for blue, and we're going to set it to overlap. And we're going to select our red ones, and we're going to set uh, the response to red to overlap. There you go. And now. Uh, we should have blocking walls, say black in our game. Uh, green means you can go through it. Blue means blue can go through it. Red means red can go through it. And it should all just work. So pass through perfectly here. But when we get to the other one, notice that blue can't pass through the red and red can't pass through the blue. So we'll move up so red can go through and move down and blue can go through. And you are all set up for some sort of puzzle game where that's the one of the mechanisms. Now you can have as many collision channels as you want, and you can have as many different variations of responses as you want. And uh, hopefully that's helpful to you guys. Um, if you want more videos like this, let me know uh, what topics you would like me to cover. And otherwise, thanks for watching. Have a good one.